Hello everyone, welcome back. So previously we have talked about objects in JavaScript and we have also slightly covered what exactly a dot notation is or how to use a dot operator and get details from a particular object that is a property value. In this video we will cover difference between dot and bracket notation. So there is one more thing that is called bracket which can be used to get details from a particular object similar to dot but there is slightly difference between both of them. So we'll cover both over here in this particular session. So I'll go to my Visual Studio code. And this is the previous example that we have used of a particular object which contains some details of an employee. That is a string value that is a name of employee, then the integer that is age of employee, a boolean that is if he's married, again a string for address, then there is a function which returns if he's alive or not. And then there is a object again within this particular main object which says employee designation that is if he is a manager in designation or what's the scale of his designation that is he is a senior manager. Now previously we saw how to access these properties using a dot operator. So I will just quickly type the name of object and I will just use uh, the dot operator to get details for the name of employee. I'll save it and I will just refresh the browser and you can see yes Gagan is displayed over here because we are using dot operator to get details for name of employee under employee details object. Now we have one more notation that is called bracket notation. So for this again I will write the object name and then I will provide a bracket over here and within single quotes I have to write the property which I want to access. So let's say I want to access name of employee. So I will just paste it here, save it, go to the browser again and I will refresh it and you can see yes the same value is displayed over here which means I am able to get the property value of the name of employee using the bracket operator. That's good. Similarly we can try for doing anything else like let's say if I want to get the value of uh, the marriage status and if I save it, refresh the browser, it says true. So it is displaying it properly. That's the basic difference between these two. Now we can also set a new property using a dot or a bracket operator or a notation. So you can simply type, let's say the name of the object dot and then you can type a new property that you want to enter. So let's say I want to enter a new property which is spouse name. And just I will write it here and I will say Jane and I will save it and again if I try to take a console log for this entire object and if I give the entire object name, save it here, go to the browser and refresh you can see yes it is displaying the entire object over here and you can see there is one more entry over here which is for the name of the spouse that is Jane. Similar thing we can do it with the help of our bracket operator. So if I just type the bracket here and if I again type the bracket or I'll close the bracket here, I'll save this and if I type the name as gn1, I will go back and refresh the browser. You can see again it is displayed and gn1 is coming over here. So that's how to use a bracket operator to get or add new properties in an object. So that's also good and it is working. Now let's say if I want to get the details of a value that is present for a particular function, we can try again by using the dot operator and we'll try the same with the bracket operator. So I will again type console.log and I will type the name of the object. If I type dot and I type the name of the function that is function is alive. So I will just save it and again I'll try the same thing for the bracket operator. So I will just quickly type the bracket here. I will put the single quotes as you have to provide the same value under the single quotes. Hit save, go to the browser and if you refresh this, you can see that it is not displaying correctly because we missed this. So I have to write it here, something like this. Save it and go to the browser again. And if I refresh, you can see, yes, it's displaying the proper value over here. That's good. Now let's try to get the values of a function or a object within an object. 
So I will type console log and I will type the main object name, then I will type dot. I will type the second object name that is designation and I will type designation and save it. I will go to the browser. Here refresh, you can see manager is displayed over here because we tried to print this particular value. Let's try to print the value using the bracket operator. We'll just quickly add the bracket here and let's add it here. Save it, go to the browser, refresh it. Yes, you can see it's displayed here. So in bracket operator, whatever you're writing, you have to write in single quote and it works fine. So you can see it's displayed over here. So this is the basic difference between dot and bracket operator we have seen now. Also, if you want to see one major difference over here, that is with the bracket operator, I just copy this particular code over here and I just uncomment this. With bracket operators, we have one more feasibility to write any expression within this particular single quotes. So for instance, if you see in the case of dot operators, we don't have any feasibility of writing any expression over here. So we have to write the name of the property directly. So that's one problem here. But with the bracket operators, you can write any expression. So for instance, if I have one value that is, let's take constant and which says marriage and I'll type something called marriage. So let's say this is a value that I have already or a variable that I already have. So I can always go ahead and write a regular expression, something like this. And I will just save it. And once I refresh it, you can see, so it's displaying the correct value over here. That is, is married and it is true. So that's one more thing. So with bracket operators, we can write uh, expressions within the brackets, but with dot operator it is not possible and there is a problem always so bracket operator is used a lot if we talk about the coding habits because we take a lot of inputs during our development cycle and we can pass that input directly over here in bracket and it can be used but with dot operators we have to hard code the key over here and uh, that becomes a problem sometimes so in this video we have seen how to write an object and how to access an object using dot and bracket operators then we have also seen how to access functions and uh, object within object using bracket and dot operators and then we have also seen how to add a new property using bracket and dot operator so that's it for today's video thanks a lot for watching my video please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates thank you bye bye